Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be a reading vlog. However, with a little caveat, we are going to be doing a realistic what I read in a week since I have a full-time job Monday through Friday. So we're gonna see how much I can actually read every day, um, how much I audiobook I get through if I listen to an audiobook that day, and just kind of go over the totals as to how much I read and listened to for the week and see, again, realistically, what do I read as someone who has a full-time job? So I have, today's Monday, and so far I have done a l very little bit of reading. I read for 10 minutes this morning before I left for work um, physically, and I've listened to another book. So the book that I read physically, the whole 10 minutes is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Renegades trilogy. All I know about it is that it's like a superhero, supervillain story with the Renegades being the superheroes and the anarchists being the Renegades. And I'm only 36 pages in. Um, I read like three pages this morning, but I'm having a really good time. I really so far like the main character. Her name is Nova and you get like, her background within the first like the prologue and the first chapter and I'm thoroughly enjoying it so far. I got on a um a superhero supervillain kick after I read Vicious and Vengeful and a lot of people really really like this series so I decided to pick it up and I'm having a good time so far. And then the book that I listened to is Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. This is the third book in the Knock em Out trilogy and the final book as well, which is sad. But in this book, you're following um, Lucian and Sloane, which is my most anticipated because it's like grumpy sunshine, enemies to lovers, all my fave tropes, honestly. So Lucian is Knox and Nash, who are the first two male characters in the first two books. They're best friend. And Sloane is someone who grew up in the town with all three of them, but she ends up being really good friends with Naomi and Lena, which are the love interests from those two books as well. So you get to see all of your favorite characters, which is always super exciting. That's why I love interconnected standalones and I'm having a really good time. I am on chapter eight, page 103 of this book and I'm just loving it so far. I love the vibes. I love the banter between Lucian and Sloane. And I just love Lucy Score's writing. Like typically seeing a almost 600 page rom-com or not even a rom-com, but romance book would literally make me want to rip my eyes out. But there's just something about Lucy Score's writing where it's like, I can never get enough. Like when I read um, Things We Never Got Over, which is the first book, I tell you what, I loved that book so much. Oh, it's still one of my favorite reads. And I felt like there just wasn't enough. And that's what I love about all of her books is that she has such easy writing. It's always so much fun to read and I just have such a good time. And um, I love all the characters. I love the like storyline that's going on behind the romance and they always have just such amazing characters. So yes, so these are the two books that I'm going to be reading this week. I will touch base at the end of every day to just let you guys know how many pages that I read for the day because sometimes audio is like the only way I can get books in um you know throughout the day depending on like if I'm doing stuff around the house or like driving to and from work and things like that so um yeah so I figured that's all I got for you guys for now. <laughs> folks so final update of the night i just read for a little bit in bed i read from page 31 to 79 of renegades i just finished up some of it um on my kindle i don't think i'm gonna read anymore tonight i think i'm gonna head to bed it's about 11 a little after 11 
Um, and then again, I listened to um, three hours and I think 26 minutes of Things We Left Behind on audio, which got me to chapter eight. So my totals for today, as far as page count goes, is 166 pages. So again, that includes the audio and the physical because I do both, um, especially during the week because sometimes it's the only time I can get driving back and forth to work when I'm like running around doing things. So 166 pages for Monday, not bad. Um, updates on the books. I am really liking Renegades a lot so far, more than I thought I would. I'm really enjoying the superhero aspect of it and just learning more about each of the characters. So far, I really like both of our POVs. We're getting Adrian's POV, who is a renegade. Um, and he's actually the son of two of the, um, the people in the council on the renegades. And then you're getting Nova, who is an anarchist. Um, and you're kind of getting her POV and like what happened to her when she was younger to like make her the way she is. Um, and so far I really like both characters. I'm enjoying hearing from both of their sides. Like I'm only, like I said, like 80 pages in, but I am really, really enjoying it. I think I'm really gonna like it. So yeah, so that's the update from Monday night, you guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will touch base with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys welcome back so it is tuesday and i have a bit of a reading update for you total today between things we left behind and renegades is 253 pages so uh things we left behind by lucy spore i read 201 pages i am up to page 304 chapter 23 i am i think a little more than halfway through you guys I am obsessed with this book. Like, I legitimately do not want this book to be over. It is being told in a past and present timeline because the whole thing with Lucian and Sloane is that they have this, like, issue that, like, no one knows about. Like, Knox doesn't know about it. Nash doesn't know about it. Like, literally no one knows, like, what happened between Lucian and Sloane. So literally no one knows why, the two, why these two cannot get along, why they can't stand each other. And so what you're getting, my cat is trying to come in. Hello. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the party. Come on. Um, so what you're being told is the timeline of like 23, 22 years ago when they were younger. Um, and then, you know, present timeline and like what's happening. And I... <sighs> I love past and present timelines in books when they're like done properly and like you're rooting for the characters and I am rooting for Lucian and Sloane. These two characters are amazing. Lucian, everything that he has dealt with, like I just can't even, like I was reading some of these things and I was like tearing up. Like I just cannot. And just how Sloane's family treated Lucian just like made me so happy. Um, and like I said, I'm only halfway through, so I'm sure things are gonna be happening and I'm still gonna have a lot to look at and discuss. But again, absolutely loving it. I'm like not wanting it to be over. I love the banter. I love just the characters and I love being back in Knock 'em Out so much. Um, I just love, like I said, love all the characters. I love seeing Knox and Naomi and Lena and Nash, Stefan and Jeremiah and Wayley and 
just everybody. I just love it so much and I'm so sad this is the last book. I am 100% gonna be rereading um, Things We Never Got Over, 100%. I don't know which one's gonna be my favorite between that one and this one, but those two books are like unmatched. That freaking good. That's the update with that. Loving it loving it so renegades i am on page 132 chapter 10 um i read 52 pages of this book today clearly i got more done in <laughs> things we left behind but that's fine because i am also loving renegades it is so good and i must say so between the two povs that we're getting i'm loving adrian's more just a bit i don't know why yet but i'm just like gravitating towards his pov and like getting excited to read his pov um there are things that are happening and i'm very excited to see where the story goes because i have a place in my head where i think it's gonna go but i don't know if it's gonna go there but i'm loving reading about it i'm loving reading about the characters and just like learning about all the different characters and their super abilities and all of that fun stuff and just like learning about the backstory of the renegades and the anarchists and where how they got to where they are and adrian's family and nova's family and these kind of new families that they have created within their um respective you know i don't really know what to call it within their respective sides the renegades and the anarchists and it's just interesting to see you know the two different sides so that is the update for tuesday 200 and what did i say 53 i think 253 pages between these two books i'm loving them both i'm having a great time um and yeah they're both pretty thick books but i'll probably be able to get through these before friday i'm hoping like by the end of the day friday um i can stay up a bit later and read because i don't have work the next day people so yeah so we'll see i'm loving both of them having such a fun time and honestly i don't want either of them to be over but luckily this one has two more books in the series um this is the last one and i'm so sad because this is the one i'm like flying through and i'm like okay you need to slow down like honestly i need to pace myself because like i don't want this book to be over so that's the update for now you guys and i hope everyone is having a wonderful week and i will touch base with you guys tomorrow on wednesday to see how many pages i read again i want you guys to know i'm listening to this one through audio i have been also physically reading it but I am able to get as many pages as I am because I'm also utilizing audio. If I did not utilize audio, I would be reading a heck of a lot less. And there are some days where I can't listen to audio at all. There are some days where I can listen to it for a much longer period of time. Obviously, it all just depends about my day. All right, guys, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. And again, have a wonderful night and I will catch you all on the flip side. So today is actually Thursday because I fell asleep yesterday. Um, did not get too much reading done, but I wanted to give you my Wednesday update before I got started with Thursday. So things we left behind, Lucy score, we all know. So I read to page 380. And so total yesterday of this book, I read 79 pages i'm nearing the end and i'm getting so sad this book is so good i'm like obsessed with it but i'm also taking my time with it um <clears throat> because i want it to last so 
loving this. It's by Marissa Meyer. So I honestly didn't really read much of this. I only got to page 155, which is like the middle of a chapter because I was reading this on my Kindle and fell asleep last night. So I only read 23 pages of Renegade. So I only read like 102 pages total yesterday. 102 pages is still pretty good. I made a little bit of progress in each book. Um, I'm loving both books, having a good time. Like I said, this is a realistic week. Sometimes from work, my brain is just fried and I just can't read. Sometimes I choose to like watch TV or watch YouTube videos or, you know, spend time with my family, you know, cause that's the free time I have um, and my husband. So honestly, it just all depends. And yeah, yesterday was a like needed to watch TV kind of day. Um, so we'll see how today goes. <laughs> I'm hoping to make a little bit more progress, um, especially in Renegades. I definitely need to get through some more of Renegades for sure. So we shall see, and I will touch base with you guys hopefully tonight at some point. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll check you later. So today is Friday. What what TJIF baby? So I fell asleep again yesterday reading Renegades on my Kindle. So giving you my Thursday update. So I read 113 pages of Things We Left Behind. I'm on page 498. So I am almost done with it. I'm so sad. I think I have like less than 100 pages left. Um as far as Renegades, I read 10 pages. Now, I have a defense because this whole week, I have just been like not, not that I haven't been wanting to read, but like when I've come home from work, like I just have been like wanting to do other things. Um, like normally I pretty much read like when I get home, like I'll come home, I'll eat dinner. And then I'll read for like a couple hours downstairs, but like work has just been like crazy busy and like just taking a bit of a mental toll on me. So like the last thing I've been like wanting to do is just like sit down and like focus on something like that. Like I've literally been watching like trash TV every day. Um, and then like I read for like a little while after that, like maybe like half an hour and then I read for like, I don't know, until I fall asleep in bed. So this week is a little out of the ordinary for me i'm not gonna lie normally i do read more than this um so i might film another one of these like down the road but i also feel like there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way i do right now where it's like okay wow i feel like i really didn't get like any reading done i mean don't get me wrong i'm almost done with um things we left behind but I've primarily been listening to that book on audio. Like I think I've listened to about 96% of that book on audio and I've only physically read like a couple of chapters, which is fine. Like, thank God for audiobooks because otherwise I would have done like nothing this whole week. Um, so yeah, so that's the update for now. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to read when I get home today, um, just because my, I'm hanging out with my husband and we're like me, my husband and my aunt's actually coming with us. We're going to go to um, Walmart to get stuff for my sister-in-law. She Her bridal shower is on Sunday. So my aunt and I need, um, she needs shoes and I need just like jewelry. So we're going to Torrid and then we're going to go get dinner together, the three of us. And then we're going to go to Walmart because we need a couple of things from Walmart. So we're kind of like running around. So I don't know how much we're going to be getting done because when I'm done running around, I usually just want to chill with Victor. So we shall see if I get any reading done today. My goal will be to finish things we left behind today. Then I can just like focus on Renegades this weekend. Um, again, Sunday, I'm pretty busy because we have the bridal shower, but I'm hoping I can get some reading time in tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed because you guys, I it's so hard. Like it's such a struggle sometimes like, cause I love reading so much. Like I love being in those worlds and I am loving Renegades, but it's just like sometimes real life just kind of 
hands it to you. You know what I'm saying? You got work, you got people you're hanging out with. You It's just, oh, it's a lot. But anyway, so my, so my page total um, from yesterday, again, was, I don't even remember what I said. I think I said like 113 pages of things we left behind and 10 pages of renegades are at 123 pages <laughs> and I'm running late. So I will chat with you guys um, either tonight or tomorrow to wrap up this video. And I hope you all have a great Friday. Hey guys, so I wanted to film a wrap up for this video um, since today is Friday and I think I am done reading for the night. So my total page count for today was 127 pages. I finished Things We Left Behind and I made it to page 216 in Renegades. Um, so before I kind of talk about these two books and my thoughts on them, I just wanted to give my like total page count for the week so my total page I think was 764 pages for the week which is not bad I'm, I love reading I definitely didn't read as much as I would have liked this week but it is what it is clearly it was just not a week for reading and that's fine um, and like I said this is just a realistic what I read this week video and like I said, I just didn't read as much as I normally do or would like to have, but um, I spent a lot of time with family this week. I watched a lot of trash TV and honestly, I'm fine with that. So um, like I said, 764 pages was read this week um, and let's jump into thoughts on the books. So the first book was Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. And if I, so I always write on a scale of one to five, but this book is a six star read, you guys. Lucian and Sloan are literally everything. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Favorite book in the Knockamount trilogy, for sure. Um, the first book definitely was also really good. I really loved um, Knox and um, Naomi's story, but Lucian and Sloan was just like next level like the enemies to lovers the banter the things that this man did for her oh and it's like also like dual timeline because you're also getting like what happened to them uh, or what happened between them back when they were younger um which was oh my god that story was also just like wow um so I just loved like like I said the, the entire book I don't think there was one thing that I could say that I did not like about this book um I also love being back in Nakamoto. I love seeing all of the other characters and just like seeing how their stories progress. And it was flipping amazing. If you have not read the Nakamoto trilogy, please read the Nakamoto trilogy. Um, the first book was really, really good. It was a five stars, adored it. The second book, I think I gave like a 3.5 just because um, Nash and Lena's trope wasn't my typical trope, but it was still a really, really good book. And then uh, like I said, things we left behind, six flipping stars. So definitely obsessed. Then we have Renegades. So in Renegades, you're following Nova and Adrian. And um, Nova is considered a villain. Um, her alias is Nightmare. And she's part of like the anarchists. But no one knows that because she wears a mask and so no one knows who she is and then you're following adrian who is part of the renegades which they are superheroes that took over from the the anarchists back when the anarchists took over um they took it back over and they've like created like law um because back when it was the anarchists, things were just hectic and no one there was like no order or no law or anything so the um renegades took over and they have like a council and things like that i am really enjoying because you get adrian and nova's point of view and it's very interesting because there's a plot that just plot point that just developed that's not talked about in the back of the book that like completely makes the book like i didn't know that this was what was going to be happening and where the plot was going to go and it just made me like 10 times more excited to read this because it's just such a good plot line and i can like already envision where it's gonna go and like 
I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's pretty much, I'm assuming going to be like an enemies to lovers. I'm assuming Adrian and Nova are going to have romantic feelings develop. Um, Nova absolutely despises the renegades and the uh, renegades obviously don't like the anarchists. So it's very enemies to lovers. And I'm just really liking the superhero element. I love, love, love reading about everyone's different powers. I'm loving reading the fight scenes. Um, they're really, really well written. And like I said, I'm really loving the characters so far. Like I feel like we're gonna have a really strong cast of characters in this. So I'm very excited to keep reading this. Um, I might even film a vlog where I read out or finish out the rest of the trilogy because there are two more books after this. Arch Enemies and then the third one I think is called Supernova. So very, very excited to continue this. I feel like this is definitely gonna be a very highly rated book. Um, so yeah, so like I said, 764 pages this week. Not bad, not my best, but not my worst. So absolutely adored these two books you guys um definitely check them out really check out the knock them out series like a hundred percent like so so good um so yes i hope you guys all had a fantastic week thank you for coming along this journey with me this week and like i said i'd like to film another one of these and hopefully it'll be a week where i'm deciding to read more but we shall see where that takes us thank you guys so so much for being here i really really appreciate each and every one of you please like comment and subscribe and i really hope to catch you all in the next video and i hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are mm -hmm.